James 1, 19 through 20 Wherefore, my beloved brethren, let every man be swift to hear, slow to speak, slow to wrath. For the wrath of man worketh not the righteousness of God. There is a form of anger that is godly, but I will talk about that later. In most cases, anger is perhaps the single most dangerous and destructive emotion in the world. The damage anger causes is disastrous. It tears apart families, destroys marriages, and damages relationships. It can cause violent outbursts in the home, workplace, schools, and anywhere it takes hold and control of a person. It can cause mild to severe injuries, both physically and emotionally, and sometimes even results in death. Some of its worst victims often turn to drugs, alcohol, or other addictions, or become violent themselves. Anger is something we all battle. Sometimes it doesn't take much to kindle it. A wrong word, an inconsiderate action, an unmet expectation, a neglected responsibility, or just plain old bad timing. Growing up, I had a pretty bad temper. I often said hurtful things to my little brother, who was then and is now the best person I have ever known. I knew that my anger was not a good thing, and it didn't please God, but I couldn't figure out how to control my temper. Perhaps that's something that only God can teach, which is how I learned to control mine. Anger makes you want to hurt someone, throw something, or break something. The first step to overcoming that is to realize how much that anger is hurting the people you love most. Even if it is not usually directed toward them, the overflow of that anger does spill over onto them. If you don't learn to forgive the ones you hate, your anger will keep hurting the ones you love. Once you realize the truth of that, you should want to get rid of that anger more than you want to hurt others with it. The next step is prayer. Pray this prayer every day, first thing in the morning, before anything has the chance to anger you. Dear Lord, please use the situations that I will face today to teach me to control my temper. In Jesus' name, Amen. This prayer is ideal because it does not ask God to keep those situations from arising, which He will not do because He wants you to grow through them. It also does not ask God for more trouble, which nobody wants. Here is what will happen. Sooner or later, something will make you angry. Then that still, small voice of the Lord will gently tell you to let it go. The more quickly you submit to that voice, the more quickly you will get control of your temper. When you do submit to it, ask Him to forgive you for getting angry and to help you to do better next time. If you keep letting go of whatever made you angry faster each time, then one day you will realize that the things that used to anger you before just don't anymore. Then you will realize how much happier you are being happy than you were being angry. Of course, to hear the still small voice of Jesus, you need to have Him living in your heart. He can't help you if you haven't made Him the Lord of your life. If you are ready to do that, then you can pray this simple prayer and start your relationship with God through Jesus. Dear Jesus, I believe that you died on the cross for my sins and that you rose again the third day. Please forgive me for my sins and come into my heart and be Lord of my life. Help me overcome sin in my life and live for you so I will have joy when I see your glory. In Jesus' name, amen. Learn more about Jesus by reading your Bible. And if you would like to read the life of Jesus straight through, you might like Emmanuel by April Marie, which is available at lulu.com, barnesandnoble.com, and amazon.com. Thank you for listening. May you walk in joy without anger.